everybody, I am Abby Elizabeth, and this is the Earthen Vessels channel. This is a channel for Christian women, but anyone is welcome to listen. Praise be to the Most High God, who has given us another day in which we can consider His holy word and learn to walk in His ways. For those of us who speak English, the King James Version of the Holy Bible is the Word of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm here today to speak to you, my sisters, who are young in the faith, about feeling awkward. And you know, there are many things that come up when we're first a Christian that can make us feel uncomfortable because we are now different. We've been changed. We've been baptized in the name of the Lord and made different. And we're different now and set apart from the people in the world. And when we obey God, we're dressing modestly and we're covering our head with a veil uh, to honor God and Jesus Christ and our husband if we're a married woman. So there are many who will look askance at us or they will think that we're a legalist and they'll, they'll um, have opinions about our faith and sometimes they'll want to argue with us. And when that happens, it can feel very awkward. And it can also feel awkward just when people look at us. So we, we might get a few stares, especially in the beginning. Our family members who knew us before we were, were a Christian might think we're doing just one more stupid thing that amongst the many stupid things we used to do. Or maybe they're a religious person and they hate the Word of God and they see what we're doing and it convicts them, but rather than obey God to see, to look into their own heart to see what is wrong with them, they want to find fault with those who are obedient. All of these situations can make us feel awkward. And what do we do when we feel awkward? Because sometimes we can feel very self-conscious. We can feel like, what do I say? What do I do? And for that reason, I thought to make a video to address this issue. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 1. And when Jeremiah was called by God to be a prophet unto the nations, this was his response. He said in verse 6, he said, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Praise be to God. You know, I was out and about this morning doing some errands, and when I do that, I meet people, I see people, and some people, particularly men, usually are very respectful and gracious. A gentleman opened the door for me as I entered a certain place. Sometimes people don't look at me that way, though. Sometimes people view what I'm doing with contempt, and I had gone to pick up an item uh, nearby, and the woman in the office there at my where I rent an apartment from, she looked at me with a great deal of contempt, and even though I was kind and smiling to her, she looked like she was repulsed by the way that I conducted myself. And when I was young in the faith, this sort of thing, her conduct would have really bothered me. But verily I say unto you, it no longer bothers me, and I want you, my sisters, to be unperturbed, unbothered, not troubled, when people look at you with contempt, or they even say things that are contemptuous. Let's go first now to Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. There are some things in the scriptures that are very important for us to understand as God's people, and some scriptures are particularly relevant to those of us who are Christian women because our heart can be dismayed. We can feel like, what can we do? What can we say? Much like Jeremiah did, who became, of course, a very faithful and diligent prophet for the Lord our God. And he, because God told him, he wasn't afraid of the faces of the people who were going to judge him for doing and saying what God commanded him to do. And so it is with us. In Isaiah chapter 3, I mean, chapter 26 and verse 3. Let's read. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, 
because he trusteth in thee. So we trust God. And what I would say about feeling awkward is that's when somebody's looking at us or talking to us and we feel exposed. We feel like they're looking at us. We feel awkward. We don't know what to say. So we're self-conscious. But someone whose mind is stayed on God is going to be conscious instead of God. And that is how we overcome awkwardness. So let's read this again. Open ye, pardon me. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Hallelujah. Let's read a little bit more here so we can be comforted in the word of God. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. So when we're weak, the Lord is strong. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot, foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor. And the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. So God sees us when we are walking in dignity and in truth and abiding in his scripture, doing what the scripture says. And it doesn't matter how big our enemy is because our God is bigger than any enemy. And he sees our path. He sees what we do. And he is able to strengthen us regardless of what people happen to think about what we're doing. His mind is kept in perfect peace. Perfect peace. We are in perfect peace. We do the things that God commands. We speak his word when someone is approaching us with a question, but if people want to argue with us, we decline to do so. Because as Christian women, we understand that the enemy wants to get us to do things we ought not do and be involved in arguments and contentions and so forth and so on. And we don't engage in that. Rather, if somebody asks us why we do what we do, we will testify unto them we, that we've been saved by Jesus Christ, by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. We've had our sins remitted. We're filled with the Holy Spirit. And now we're walking in obedience to his word because we love him. And after that, there's really not much more to say. If they're not interested and they want to argue with us, then we would smile and we'd say, well, um, you have a right to believe whatever you want, and so do I, and I think I'm going to move on now. Have a good day. And we're kind to people even when they're unkind to us. When we do this, we have confidence. It doesn't matter what people have to say or the look on their face when we're being obedient to our God. Let's go to Psalm 60 now. Psalm 60. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's read here in verse 11 and 12. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. You see, God is the one who gets the victory. We are just the vessel for the word. We are the ones who understand that if there's any trouble, we don't worry about what people might think we should do or people say to us. Rather, we understand that it is through God that we have courage, valiance. We're able to stand in the truth of God's word. We are willing to do what he said because we know that he is with us and in him we have the victory. I want to close now. And let's go to Isaiah 54. And let's start here in verse 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. 
Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. This is a promise from Almighty God who created heaven and earth to his people. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So we are righteous when we obey the word of God. Jesus Christ said, He that loveth me keepeth my commandments. We love the Lord Jesus Christ. We do what he says, and then we have righteousness. We have obeyed his gospel. We've been washed of our sins. And if people have mean faces or or mean opinions about what we do, well, then we understand that that is something that is going to happen, but we need not fear. We need not even consider those things because we walk with the Lord and he is with us in every single thing. No weapon, no word, no slander, no opinion, no attack, no conspiracy, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Now, this doesn't mean we won't suffer persecution. Jeremiah did. Jeremiah was cast into a very bad prison. But the Lord plucked him out. The Lord dealt well with Jeremiah because he was faithful to do the things that God commanded him to do. And so it is with us that no matter matter what we think is happening, No matter how bad things seem to be, our God is with us. And one day, one day we will share in the righteousness of his kingdom. We will rule and reign with Jesus Christ because we have been found faithful and diligent to keep his word when we suffered opposition or oppression or persecution. So when we feel awkward, my sisters, the answer is this. Think about the promises of God and the word of God. And don't think about yourself. Don't think, oh, what do I say? Think about what God says. If we are feeling awkward and somebody's saying something about our clothing or a head covering, we can simply smile because we have been blessed with the truth. And we don't have to be upset with the opinions of the wicked. I pray this message has been helpful to those of you who have struggled with these things. And verily I say unto you, if we cry out to God, he will help us. If we're in a moment where we don't know what to do and we feel either frightened or awkward or afraid of what people think, we simply close our eyes for a moment and silently call in our heart upon the name of Jesus. He will strengthen us and he will give us the perfect answer or the perfect thing to do. And regardless of what people think, we have a king and he is able to keep us until his kingdom comes. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. I remain here to serve you. Feel free to write to me if you like. My email is always in the description box underneath the video, or to make a comment in the comment section underneath the video. And may the word of God go forth today and uplift and edify and bless many. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.